Oh, welcome back to Vanderbilly.com. This is part two of the lesson on Dave Mason's uh, Show Me Some Affection, uh, the live version. Uh, in this part, we're going to look at the guitar solo that goes over the, uh, the bridge in the song. And then we're also going to take a look at um, some fills that uh, Jim Kruger uses to spice up the song a bit. So let's get started. Okay, the guitar solo gets played over the uh, bridge, which, remember, is in D major, not in E major. Uh, it goes like this. Okay, so rather than calling out every single note of this thing, I'll tell you where I'm going to start, uh, and then I will try and do it slowly, and let's, let's bring the camera in a little bit closer here. Um, all right, so I am starting at the, at the G string in 7th fret, all right? There's a lot of sliding up that goes on here. Uh, so you start off with... Ending up here down, this is a B string, 5th fret, and E string, 7th fret. So one more time, uh, as slowly as I can do it. Um, Okay, um, to round off this lesson, we're going to take a look at a few fills that uh, Jim Kruger uh, plays in the song during the verse to kind of spice it up a little bit because the verse is just this kind of E, B, and then A to C sharp minor, and A to B. So around the time of the second verse, he starts to throw in things that sound uh, like this. So uh, all he's doing there is just a couple of different voicings. Uh, you know, instead of this E, he's using a, an E at the seventh fret. And then if you throw your pinky on uh, and off the uh, E string at the ninth fret, you can get. And then you make this B chord. You know, it's the same as this this kind of F chord up on the seventh fret. And if again, if you bring your pinky down on the E string at the ninth fret, you get a you get a ninth chord. So it's okay. 
And then uh, this chord is an A chord. Uh, and if you take your uh, middle finger off, you have that C sharp minor. Uh, so, in, in other words, if you just take this on and off, you're going to get. Uh, which are these two chords. Um, so you get that covered. So then you can do... Uh, and then come down to this uh, B again. But instead of making the full B like this, just do this triad um, on the, uh, uh, the G string, the B string, and the E string at 7th fret. And you can just slide up and do... And that's just sliding up. You're just uh, up to this, the 11th fret, and you know you're just uh, muting the B string and playing the G and the E. So it's put this finger down and slide up, and then down to the 9th fret, same thing, and then back to this triad. So that's and it's used a lot in in stuff. So. It's, uh, so that kind of thing can, you know, help break up the uh, the monotony of this a little bit. Uh, so I hope you find that useful, and uh, thanks for watching.